Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn the Java interview questions related to the super keyword. So, what is super keyword in Java? The super keyword in Java is a reference variable which is used to refer immediate parent class object. So, this is mainly used in the concept of inheritance because in the inheritance we have the terms parent class and child class. So, let's understand the theory behind the super keyword. So super can be used to refer the immediate parent class instance variable. So it is used to refer the instance variable of parent class. Another use is super can be used to invoke the immediate parent class method. So it can also be used to invoke the parent class method inside the child class. And third use is super can be used to invoke immediate parent class constructor. So super is basically used to invoke the instance variable class method or the constructor of parent class. So let's see in the practical implementation how to make use of this super keyword. So here inside the Eclipse editor, I have the class demo. Inside this class, I have one main method. Now here I have declared one more class A, which has an instance variable name and the value assigned is A. Inside this class, I have a show method, which prints inside A class. Now here we have another class B. Now let's make this as a child class. So you need to make use of extends keyword extends A. So now this is our subclass or child class and this is our parent class or the super class. So inside this class we will have one more variable which is of type string and we will have the same name and we will assign this time the value B for this variable name. And now Inside this, we will have one more method public. We will have one more method public void display. And inside this display, we will print sys out. Inside this display, we will print here this value of name. We can say your name is name is and then we will print your name. Now inside this demo class, you need to make the object of this child class. So let's make the object of child class, which will be b obj equal to new b, and then we will call this method. So b object dot display. Now let's run this code. Here we have misspelled the spelling of public. Let's save it and run now. So here we are getting the message name is B because value of name is B here. But what I want to do, I want to access the value of name variable to be of parent class because in the parent class the value of name is A. So I want to access that particular value. So how to access it? As this is an instance variable, we have seen that super can be used to refer immediate parent class instance variable. So as it is an instance variable, it can be accessed with the help of a super keyword. So instead of printing your name, what I will do, I will print here super dot name. So what this statement will do, it will print now the value of parent class because it will call the parent instance variable now. So if I run this code. So see we are getting here name as A because we have used the keyword super. So super is used to call the parent class instance variable. Now the second use was super can be used to invoke the immediate parent class method. Now what we will do instead of super.name we will remove the statement here and now inside this display method we will call this show method. So how to call this show method with the help of a super keyword super dot show super dot show and now if I run this code so see we are getting a message inside a class. So what is happening now here we have created the object of child class and we are calling the display method of child class. So inside this display, we have called the super keyword and call the method of parent class, which is show. 
So inside this, we are getting a message inside a class. So here we are getting a a class. So you can call the method of parent class with the help of a super keyword. And the third use was with the help of a super and you need to provide this round brackets. It can be used to invoke the immediate parent class constructor. So it will be used to invoke or call the parent class constructor. So now we will remove this method. We will only have the constructors now in both the classes. So let's remove this part so it will be easy to understand. So let's declare a constructor. We will provide a default constructor without any parameters and we will print your message sys out. Let's say constructor A. Constructor A. Let's copy this statement, paste it here. We will change the constructor to class P and constructor B. And what we will do inside this constructor, we will call the constructor of class A. So here we will print super with the brackets. And now here we are trying to call the object of B. Now we are creating the object, we don't have any method, so we will remove this statement and we know whenever a object is created, a constructor is called. So what will happen now? We are just creating the object of class B and inside this class B, we have a constructor B and we have used the super keyword. So let's see what will be the output. Let's run this code. Now see here we are getting message constructor A, constructor B. So as we have used a super, so it will invoke the parent constructor. So parent constructor implementation will be provided. So it will print the statement constructor A and after the super we have the print statement for constructor B. That's why we are getting here the message constructor B. What if I change this? Like if I remove this to the second line, then it is providing me the error. So it is giving me error. So what does the error says? Constructor call must be the first statement in a constructor. So this super should always be the first statement in your constructor. It will not work if you don't provide it as a first statement. So it should be always the first statement. Now if I remove this constructor here, so what will happen? If I run this code now, so what will happen? We are calling this object right of this B class. So it should print this constructor value, right? It should not print constructor A now because we are not calling that constructor, we are just creating the object of B class. Now let's run this code. See, still we are getting the same output as previous one. We are first getting constructor A and then we are getting constructor B. So why this is happening? Because super is added in each class constructor automatically by compiler if there is no super or this keyword. So inside here, if you are extending a parent class, so in that child class constructor, a super is by default added by the compiler. If you don't provide this super here, it is automatically provided by the compiler. If there is no super or this provided in your first statement. So if you don't provide a super here, till by default the compiler will provide it. So that's why you are getting the same output. So always remember that whenever the constructor of child class is called, so first the implementation of parent class will be done and then the child class. So as we have created the object of class B and calling this constructor, still we are getting the value of constructor A and then the constructor B. So another thing about the super keyword, so the super keyword always points to the parent class context whereas this keyword always point to the current class context. So I have already covered the theory and practical implementation of this keyword in another video. I will provide the link in the description so you can go through the description and understand the this keyword. The super and this must be the first statement inside constructor otherwise the compiler will throw an error. So we have also seen that the super and the this both these keywords should be the first statement inside the constructor otherwise the compiler will throw an error. Moving towards the last question here. So can you use this and super both in a constructor? So we have covered the theory of this and super both. So what will happen if we use the this and super both in a constructor? So we cannot use 
because this or super should be the first statement in a class constructor so super should also be first and this should also be the first statement and if you use both then obviously one of the statement will be the second one so in that case it will throw an error so let me show you here this is a class test here we have a constructor and we are using super and this inside this constructor so if you use both then it will throw an error so the error will be constructor call must be the first statement in a constructor so that's why you cannot use this super and this inside a constructor both if you remove one of them then the code will compile and run successfully so that was all about the super and this keyword so we will cover another topics in the next video thank you for watching